just look at the basic you know, facts of it, you know, you've got up to 44% of public expenditure on healthcare today, tax continues to rise to meet that demand, and there's no way to seemingly break that cycle. And you know, quite often when we present this, people push back and say that's kind of the natural process of aging demographics, etc. And look, that is right, but that's why we all need to address that challenge because it's a, a challenge that many, many countries are facing. The UK government has, has taken a mission type approach to applying uh, and building a life sciences industrial strategy involving charities, scientific organisations, industry and the full breadth of the public sector. I think that's incredibly positive. Long term sickness costs the UK economy £43 billion pounds a year, 2% of GDP. We only need to start making some inroads into that to start getting some really impressive returns on, on that investment. We are uh, work, uh, working with member states to increase the efficiency of the healthcare systems. We used to do that in terms of recommending reforms, and now we actually have investment available as well for member states to invest in some of these areas like digitalization, fight against cancer, and simply measures that can help healthcare systems become more efficient. Of course, the VC community and the biotech or medtech communities can't do it themselves, right? We are completely dependent on the academic world from the spin-outs of the science and the innovation. We are depending on the pharma companies to, to partner with. Um, we are depending on the public market to, to have the, the full circle, right? Um, but where, when, when we see that happen efficiently, uh, we also see almost an uh, exponential positive effect on that.